Welcome to the video training on deploying a Seneca security server using the orchestration tool called Maestro. Maestro will optimize your server for the VMS software, including NVR settings, VMS software selection, XConnect agent setup, Seneca backup, and recovery to mitigate future risk of catastrophic failure, as well as helpful support tools to streamline product support. For the purposes of this tutorial, we have utilized a Genetech VMS system setup as an example. This video will guide you through the Maestro orchestration software and show all steps to take a new server from first boot to the point of being ready to configure your VMS. Once system is booted and Windows setup is complete, Maestro will automatically start and go through the NVR optimization process. During this process, no manual input is required. Maestro will optimize OS performance, power settings, and apply recommended NIC settings for maximum reliability and performance. The server will be optimized to perform as a video recording appliance with settings and configurations implemented within a few minutes. We have learned it is very important to give the customer a chance to change the computer name or join a domain before SQL is installed. Otherwise, it will take great efforts to uninstall and reinstall SQL after joining a domain. During this setup process, you can decide what to name this server and join a domain with a user ID and password. If the system is connected to a domain through the network, it is important to have this server join the domain to not impact the SQL instance for the VMS. Once NVR optimizations are finished, the server will complete a cleanup and reboot to save all settings and configuration. The second boot will require you to change your Windows Administrator login password. Our servers ship with a default administrator password set to password. You'll be forced to change this upon first login. Double-clicking on the Maestro shortcut on the desktop will launch Maestro. When Maestro launches, you get a system information screen that provides an overview of your hardware. This screen that you see here is the same, no matter which VMS is chosen or being used within Maestro. So in this Genetech example, you'll see on the left-hand side a Genetech VMS tab that is highlighted right now. That's where you will click to start the Genetech VMS installation process. But it's always good in Maestro to convey the importance of the system information screen where it shows the system serial number which is helpful for warranty support needs. A customer will need the system serial number in order to receive warranty support from our support team. So this provides a quick and easy way to get access to their system serial number. At this point, we would expect the user to go into the Genetech VMS tab here and start the installation process. Remember, the left-hand navigation here is kind of the flow we expect our users to follow, where the first screen is kind of that home page for system information. The second option there is NVR optimization that has already occurred at this point. That happened right out of the box when the device was fired up for the first time. And now on the second boot, after the administrative password has been changed, we've gotten to the desktop. We've relaunched Maestro and we can now move on to the Genetech VMS installation process. You'll notice there are a number of Genetech installation options here. These top four options are really components of the Genetech Security Center that could be broken out and installed separately. But for this video, we'll be demonstrating the installation process of the Genetech Security Center, which is more or less the full package of Genetech. This is now the standard Genetech Security Center installer. At this point, we will follow the standard Genetech installation process. What's important to note here is there's nothing custom about this process at this point. We've handed it off to the Genetech installer, and we are simply going through the Genetech installation wizard. The first step is accepting the software license agreement. And following that is selection of which software components to install. Here you can choose to install the client, the config tool, the security desk, and the server software on this system, which is really the standard selection for a Genetech Security Center installation. But this can be checked or unchecked as a user needs. Select the language and then choose the main server. These are just two different installation types. So you can choose to expand off an existing system or create a new main system, as it's called here, and the Genetech terminology for this is hosting the directory role, which is a component of the Genetech Security Center software that controls the database and a lot of the inner workings of the Genetech systems. Again, this is just a standard Genetech installation. Click Next through the next few screens. If this is a fresh, new, greenfield type installation, where there are no other Genetech systems within the network that you're looking to expand off of, select Install a new database server. You are now installing a new database server on this particular machine. 
there's an option to specify a username and password here. I'll go ahead and enter one here and then click Next. Another question within the Genetech wizard, just click Next. And at this point, click Install, and it's off to the races. At this point, it's really hands off. We are just waiting for the Genetech installation to complete at this point. The Genetech installation is complete, and you are ready to start configuring your licenses and cameras. You cannot configure your Genetech system until you license it. That is why when you click Finish on the installer, it opens up this web page showing the License Management Activation screen. This is a standard practice within the Genetech installation world, so this should be familiar to our customers that you have to license your system before you can start hanging cameras. At this point, we are done with the Genetech-specific Maestro process. Please reach out to our customer care line if you have any questions about your Maestro installation.